Hi guys, I'm the Infamy Gaming. How's it going? Just a quick video to show you um, this token here, Pact Victory token, that token that they added to the game since for the Halloween update. Um, it's not just for the Halloween; it's got nothing to do with it really. But you get this if you completed your story, um, personal story with Trahoon and stuff, and um, it should give you something nice. Well, yesterday it was bugged. You can actually go into the office where. Um, where that guy is, Hargrove, I think you have to go to. Anyway, it, it pops up now. So, ah, oh, damn it. For people that don't know where it is, it's, you have a Fort Trinity, so take the Fort Trinity waypoint, and then you you virtually see the door, really. You've got this, like, area here. Anyway, so let's go in, let's go and have a look what he gives me. Oh, I hope it's something nice. I wonder if they're actually going to give you, like, a rare weapon or exotic. It'd probably be like green or blue, wouldn't it, really? But you do get a weapon. I like to see the weapons. Yes. Oh, it's a rare. What I could have done with this earlier. Um. So yeah, you can use a token for a rare weapon. It's pretty cool. Let's have a look at them. So the battle axe. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. It's not really Balax, who is it? <laughs> Balax is more, the more, the bigger. The bow, what type of bow is that? Long bow. It's not bad. Um, short bow. The dagger. That looks alright. Focus. Focus always looks a bit weird, and that looks weird. Um, um, Avenger, what's that? The great sword. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. I like the little, like, cog there moving. Um, shooting they're not exotic, though, because really, you don't really want rares. Oh, I do need a rare hammer. That'd be cool. Yeah, I might actually get that. Um, that looks cool. Harpoon gun. Oh, underwater weapons. How I don't use you. Um, mace. Oh, that looks nice. The mace looks really good. Um, the handgun? Wow, can't even see that on me. Um, scepter? Uh, it's alright. The scepters are always a bit too small, I think. Um, shield! Ah, this could be cool. Yeah, it's a nice shield. I like all the energy. Um, spear? Shame you can't actually use that above water. That'd be, that would have been cool. And the staff, ugh, could just about to see it. I think it's got like a skull on it or something. Um, what's this? Ah, sword, one handed. That's cool, I like that. Torch. Yeah, that's alright, it's a torch. <laughs> the trident. Yeah, it's nice as well. They're all nice weapons, really. And the horn. I like the blue effects on them. So I think I'm going to go for the hammer. So it's up to you what you pick. Um, they all come with the same stats, which is... Or do they? Yeah, precision, vitality, and healing power. Mm, which is not... is a bit of a iffy one, you know. Healing power. So it depends how much you want it. So you're best, probably best off taking um, more of a support weapon. So like the mace or something. Some that's actually going to give you healing, maybe a staff for me. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nice weapons. But you can transfer them, you can transfer the stats um, if you want to. So yeah, that's the weapons, and that's what you get if you come to this guy here, Hargo Grove. Um, and I did try to do this yesterday, but it's bugged, but they fixed it. So thank you for watching. Just a quick video showing you what that icon does and you'll get it in your mail if you get it so yeah it's good um, probably could I wonder if you could sell it in fact would it would it actually be soul bound on use so could you actually buy it and sell it maybe um, anyway thank you for watching I've been Neon bye